Hello students, in last lecture we have discussed the four methods to determine the order of reaction. Those are integrated rate equation method, second graphical method, third one half-life method and fourth that is differential method. Now in today's lecture we are going to discuss about the next topic that is effect of temperature on reaction rate. As we know that the increase in temperature increases the rate of chemical reaction irrespective of whether it occurs in gaseous phase or in solution phase. The reason for the increase in the rate lies in the fact that rate constant increases with rise in temperature therefore the rate of reaction is also increases with increase in temperature an increase of 10 degree in temperature results in 2 to 4 fold increase in the velocity of chemical reaction since the temperature rarely changes exactly by 10 degree. So it is better to write the ratio of the constants at two different temperatures by expressing it in terms of temperature coefficient. That is Kt plus N10 divided by Kt is equal to gamma raised to N. In this case, in may be positive, negative or fractional. This is known as want of rule. Now to show the effect of temperature on the rate constant on the reaction rate, we have considered the simple example that is the reaction between methyl iodide and sodium ethoxide and at different temperature the values of rate constants are calculated. Let us see the first temperature that is at 0 degree Celsius the value of rate constant is 0.56 into 10 raised to minus 4. At 6 degree Celsius the value of calculated rate constant is 1.18 into 10 raised to minus 4. Similarly at 12 degree it is 2.45 into 10 raised to minus 4. 18 degree 4.88 into 10 raised to minus 4. At 24 degree Celsius it is 10 into 10 raised to minus 4. And at 30 degree it is 20.80 into 10 raised to minus 4. The table shows that the rate constant of the reaction increases almost four times when the temperature is raised by 12 degree Celsius. Now the Arrhenius develop an equation called Arrhenius equation. The equation gives the variation of rate constant with temperature. This equation is similar to want of isochore that gives the variation of equilibrium constant of reaction with temperature. Now the differential form of the Arrhenius equation is dLnK upon dt is equal to Ea upon Rt square. In this case K is the rate constant, R is the gas constant and T is the temperature in Kelvin. Similarly, Ea is the quantity, it is the characteristic of reaction, it has the dimensions of energy and is called as energy of activation. It is different for different reactions and therefore why the different reactions occurs with different rates. Reactions with lower energies of activation are faster at a given temperature than those with higher energies of activation 
at the same temperature. It is also observed that the reacting molecules have to acquire a definite amount of energy before they could react. This definite amount of energy is the energy of activation. In other words, the energy of activation is the minimum amount of energy the reactant molecules must acquire before they could react. At a given temperature, according to Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution law, a definite number of molecules called activated molecules of total molecules in the reaction mixture possess energy equal to or greater than the energy of activation. Only the activated molecules are capable of reacting. In a given reaction mixture, the fraction of total number of molecules that is activated increases rapidly with temperature and hence the rate of reaction increases. RNA's equation can be derived by two methods which we'll discuss now. Now, the RNA's equation can be derived by the two methods. First one, that is the derivation of equation. Consider the reaction A gives B with the rate equation as rate is equal to dcb upon dt is equal to k into ca it is equation number one where k is the rate constant which increases with temperature since the reacting molecules acquire definite amount of energy for a reaction to take place Therefore, the above reaction should be written in terms of two consecutive process. That is A plus Ea. In this case, A is the reactant, Ea is the energy of activation. It gives A star, that is activated complex, gives B, where A star is the activated complex. It is equation number two. The formation of activated complex is a reversible reaction. It is further assumed that the conversion of activated complex to final product occurs relatively slowly. The concentration of activated complex is always low and its formation has no effect on the concentration of original molecules. The equilibrium constant for the first step of the reaction which gives a reversible equation 2 can be expressed as Kc is equal to Ca star upon Ca or Ca star is equal to Kc into Ca. It is equation number 3. One top isochore can be applied to the equilibrium constant Kc for equation 3. Then the equation becomes D ln Kc upon dt is equal to Ea upon Rt square. Now it is equation number 4. The activated complex once formed is converted to the final product at a velocity which does not depend upon temperature. According to Arrhenius, a role of temperature is to shift the equilibrium between reactant molecules and activated complex. Considering all these assumptions, the rate of formation of product can be written as a rate is equal to dcb upon dt is equal to constant into ca star it is equal to constant into kc into ca it is equation number 5 comparing equation 5 with 1 that is k into ca 
is equal to constant into kc into ca in this case ca from both side get cancel and we get the equation k is equal to constant into kc it is equation number 6 now by applying the log to the equation 6 we can write the equation 6 as ln k is equal to ln constant plus ln kc it is equation number 7 differentiating equation 7 with respect to temperature we get d ln k upon dt is equal to d ln kc upon dt it is equation number 8 from equation 4 we get d ln k upon dt is equal to ea upon rt square it is equation number 9 this is the differential form of arrhenius equation the second derivation is based on maxwell boltzmann distribution law if n ea molecules per unit volume out of total number of molecules per unit volume nt possess the energy ea at a given temperature t then by maxwell boltzmann distribution law we have n ea upon nt is equal to e raised to minus ea upon rt therefore n ea is equal to nt into e raised to minus ea upon rt it is equation number 10 now only n ea molecules are capable of reacting hence we can write rate of reaction is equal to a into n ea because rate of reaction is depend on n into ea therefore ea indicate the proportionality factor or it is also called as the frequency factor substituting n ea from equation 10 in 11 rate of reaction is equal to a into nt into e raised to minus ea upon rt it is equation number 12 since nt is the number of molecules per unit volume it is obviously the concentration c of the reactant hence the above equation 12 becomes a rate of reaction is equal to a into c into e is to minus ea upon rt it is equation number 13 also the rate of reaction is replaced by c by the relation rate of reaction is equal to k into c it is equation number 14 therefore by comparing equation 13 and equation 14 the value of c get cancel therefore the final equation becomes k is equal to a into e raised to minus ea upon rt it is equation number 15 this equation is called as exponential form of arrhenius equation with this discussion we will stop here we will see the next topic in the next lecture thank you